This is so cool. I had to pull out my camera. All right, there's a charger up there, and on the windshield, it's limoed, but it says on the across the top of the windshield, big white letters. It says "Move over" with arrows pointing to the right. Talking, you know how these people left lane right. You know how they do that. Well, he got behind the cop. Look at the police officer up there. So he's behind him on the passing lane. So all that cop sees behind him in his rear view because it's backwards so you can see it. Ah, I hate this bump right here. I wonder if they fixed it yet. Oh, nope. They're redoing all this road. Anyway, so I just thought this was comical. I love that sticker, I'm not gonna lie. Yes. What do y'all think about that? Aren't, all, aren't you all tired of all these people riding the lane like I'm doing right now? This rear here state right here, right where I live, I call it the Hillbilly Autobahn because it's crazy. The right lane, it seems like everybody does see trucks 55, 65. It seems like they do 55, 60 in here, right in this lane. But by golly, that lane right there is infinite. Infinite speed. Like, people, uh, I ain't saying who has done, you know. Yeah. You can go as bad as fast as you want, and the police don't mess with this road, really, because it's so heavily congested. It's not right now, because I'm after... It's this busy right now, after rush hour way after us here. If that tells you anything, yeah. I mean, it's just a non-stop interstate between the two cities. And if you go straight, you go straight to North Carolina. This road right here ends in Charleston, South Carolina. It begins in Virginia, well, right across into Tennessee. Anyway, who cares? I just like that story. I don't know why I'm even talking about this. Nobody cares about none of this. But I come up with this thing I made a video and it was so shaky I couldn't use it. Let me make sure my... I was using my Black 9, the new fancier one. This is a silver, black silver 7. Yeah, black silver. <laughs> it's a black 7 and that's a black 9, I think is what it's called. Yeah. See, 50 miles an hour in this lane right here. Yeah, yeah. 50 mile an hour over here, infinite. You can just, anyway. I come up with this little thing about, I uh, made a whole video about it and it was shaking and it was about my new little ideal about billing invoices. Because I've been aggravated this year. It's getting worse every year about free work. Like Mrs. Freebie is just one. But free work is also anything left in the yard when it's time to mow. God, are you going to kiss me? She is the meanest looking woman I've ever seen. It took my breath a little bit. She was, God, I don't want to kiss that. She kiss you, you dead. You just freaking die or fall apart or something with that god dang evil look. Anyway, free work. Water hoses, number one. Free work. You're going to say, oh, it ain't no big deal. It ain't no big deal. Yes, it is. Once or twice is fine, but you had to stop your PTO, idle your engine down, put the park brake on, get off, pick it up, move it, back on, PTO back on, idle back up, brake off, and go. And that's if you got a standard, it's easier. I'm talking if you got a zero turn, that's worse. Or a freaking SWZT, you got to do 32 movements to stop it. <laughs> so I'm telling you, man, that and number two's dog poop. Well, number two, one's dog poop. Number two's water hose. Dog poop. I don't mow dog poop no more, and it's nothing against nobody. I'm not mad at anybody. But if they've ever been 100 degrees outside scraping a deck midday 
with dog crap in there that's all they have to do is one time and from then on they would pick it up yes one time would teach them and you're gonna say well it's their yard their dog yes of course it is they can they can poop in their own yard if they want to but when you are when you're hiring a service a provider of a service do you just poop in a yard in a house while the electricians in there walking around and stuff no you usually clean that house up spotless don't you out of respect well why would you not respect the lawn guy and clean up the poop and you might say well i ain't cleaning up that poop well that is the whole point of what i'm coming up with itemized invoicing you're gonna say well what's that well it is what it is and it is what it sounds like it is and i've tried to come up with a way to explain this without going too much detail to keep it simple when i get new customers I'm gonna have a list, boop, 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 boop. a little box, and it's gonna have prices of those uh, services. Like if I don't wanna do dog poop, I will say there's a charge for dog poop, right? If I do wanna do dog poop, I say, if there's poop in the yard, here's the charge that we can go ahead and take care of that for you. I'm never gonna do dog poop. But if I decided to, that's that. Now, I'm going to be on the opposite end of my own spectrum. I'm going to be the guy that says, if there's big turds in this yard that gets on my deck, I, yeah, I have to charge because I'm having to clean it and scrape it, and it's getting on me, and it's not sanitary. This is hazardous crap. Crap. Crap is crap. <laughs> so there's going to be an upcharge, period. I, you, you ain't going to mow a yard for $35, $45, little or not, and it full of... It's been green forever. <laughs> I don't know why that bothers me so bad. I'll try to be friendly. But anyway, upcharge. All right, the water hose. To you in your head, you're like, well, that ain't no big deal. Again, did you hear what I just said every time you stop to get a water hose? That PTO's going back off. The engine's idling back down. The oil pressure is going down when you do that. It actually starts overheating. You need to let your engine stay because it's air cooled. Higher RPM. I know that makes it's weird sounding. But every time that's the belts wearing out, cutting the PTO back on, and your back bending over. How many times do you think y'all have bent over to get a water hose? I mean, none of us can count, can we? None of us can count. None of us. Because... How many times have you been over? That's free working. That is not part of the lawn care. Lawn service is mowing the yard. Mrs. Freebie thinks it's her own personal gardener. Mrs. Freebie don't get it though, and we butt heads. I think she likes almost to be mad. I'm serious, because I always make her mad because I ain't doing it, but yet she keeps me because she loves how I mow and everything. She just don't like how I don't do free crap. Even though she offers to pay, she never does. So it's kind of a, heck, she might enjoy this. I don't know. I don't give in to her, though. I like her a lot, but this is my income. She didn't work for free. I don't work for free. Y'all shouldn't work for free. So I'm going to put a charge on water hose. You're going to say, oh, that's so stupid. No, who's stupid? Is it stupid for you not charging for labor? And you're going to say, that's not like stopping that mower is wear and tear on your mower and that pto is freaking four or five whatever brand you got 500 bucks your back deck belt is a hundred plus dollars at least for the kevlar belts the pulleys are 350 and up a piece the engines no oh god my 38 and a half horsepower back there i don't even know how much those are i know the little engines are 16.99 because i bought 18 horsepower 16.99 it's almost two grand so that mower's back air engine's probably two or three grand. So wear and tear on that, everything, and your body is irreplaceable. You can't go buy a new back. And that sounds so petty. It's just a water, no, it's not. We gotta get this out of our head. It's not just a water hose, because everybody does it. Everybody does it to us. So there's gonna be a little square for upcharge water hose. I might overlook it once or twice, but it will be a charge, and you're going to say, that's, 
excess petty and you won't get the business. Oh, well. Oh, freaking well. And I'm talking about new customers. You don't just spring this on your current customers without talking to them. And y'all make your financial deals. People's very friendly and stuff. And they understand if you just talk to them. Explain that about your engine, the mower, all this wear and tear on your $10,000 mower to pick up a water hose. That's what's bullcrap. It shouldn't be your petty. It's their should do it anyway. And you're going to say it's their yard. Yes, I agree. But if you're hiring somebody to come work on your crap and they can't get to it, they charge the heating and cooling people. If they can't get to it, they still charge you a service fee, now, don't they? Well, your crawl space was locked. You think they're going to leave without charging you? Why do we get the short shaft? Or the long shaft? I don't know. One or the other. I don't know. I'm watching that police officer behind me and I'm not speeding. Gotta make sure I don't though. Anyway, so water hoses is an upcharge. Be it five bucks, whatever you decide. If you wanna charge $2 for a water hose, charge $2. You wanna charge $10. I don't know that formula. That's between you and how much your mower costs, how much your time costs. How much are you worth? How much is your back worth? How many times do you bend over? When you got start getting up in age, I'm not up in age yet, but I feel it. I'm not a young 20 year old no more, far from it. I've wore my body out. So you gotta depend on it and see what's worth it. Toys, if there's toys everywhere, charge. Or just don't move around them, I'll go around them. And it's not disrespectful because I don't wanna be liable for the toys. Say they have trampoline, never move a trampoline. You know why? Because you warp a trampoline by moving them. Just leave them alone. Don't even weed eat under them. Just let them see you're gonna destroy their property. And if you don't know them good and you move their trampoline and you tear it up, get who's, who, who you think's paying for it, pal? Who, who paying for it? So I wouldn't even touch, on your side of the road, I wouldn't even touch a trampoline not even for an upcharge now toys upcharge five ten bucks whatever each time you get there like if they're they got grandkids or something toys are everywhere and they never pick them up ten bucks or twenty i don't know whatever you think you can or you i don't know or quit the yard sometimes that's the best thing to do the poops number one i ain't doing poop no more i'm tired of getting it on me i've got it in my face i've hit it with my weed eater people don't think about that what we go through and now i'm going to, have to get off here because that car behind me is gone and now the police officer's right on my you see him coming up and a freaking speed trap up here turns to 30 miles an hour i'll get away with it as long as i can but anyway that's an upcharge now i gotta stop to 30 miles an hour this is ridiculous he got right on my bumper. See, he mad. He want to go. It's his speed limit. Change the law, Mr. Policeman. See him back there? Look, you see him back there? Speed limit's 30 miles an hour right here. 30. <laughs> anyway, so that's an upcharge. Toys is an upcharge. Everything needs to be an upcharge because I ain't working for free no more. Man, are you gonna kiss me or what back there, buddy? He's right on my bumper. That's making me mad too. You ain't no better than nobody else. You don't like the law? Go tell a lawyer. See, I'm doing six miles there over the speed limit. He could give me a ticket right now. So I think we should upcharge for our stuff. I mean, it's just wear and tear. Toys, dog to I bet he's going right there. His buddy's got somebody pulled over. Watch this, I bet he kicks right, because it takes two police officers. So he's got somebody right there. Nope, he ain't going, he must be a, that's a county, that's why, that's town, that's county. Anyway, green arrow, green arrow, son of a gun, I'm not going. Skirt, now I'm going. He can go around me. I'm right near the justice center. <laughs> Sorry. 
Mr. Policeman, I had to stop, turn right legally in front of you or we could have got out of there. I don't think he cares, but he's caring that he's back here now. Anyway, up charge. Up charge, up charge, up charge. Because I'm tired of it. I've got to. All my new customers here and forth. I'm charging appropriately better. I get my money now. Used to, I would let people just almost walk over me. I, I've got people that owes me hundreds and even, not hundreds of, but thousands. <laughs> and I got people that owes me hundreds and I got people that owes me like 50. I mean, there's a lot of people that owes me a lot of money. I'll never get none of it, so. Are you really stopping in this road? Why did you pull out if you're gonna stop, bro? It's like people pull out in front of you and sit there and go, Bleh. you know what I mean? Like some big brain rupture fart. And they just sat there like, oh, am I supposed to hit the accelerator paddle? I'm supposed to accelerate when I get out on the road. <laughs> God, where'd that policeman go? Where'd that police? Anyway, upcharge toys, dog toys. If they're a little bitty and I can reach them from just ho hooching. What the frick does hooch mean? Like, <laughs> if I can throw a little ball, or if I like the customer tons and it only happens every now and again, ow, that don't bother me. Kids toy, if it's just every now and again, I'll do it. But going forward, I've got to be more stringent with my customers. Please don't do what you're getting ready to do. You are doing what my lord bro 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 oh he was going to if I'd have got over but then I'd have been in that or that thing behind me so I couldn't and then this one just pulled right there and then sometimes they don't put their butt out and you about hit them I seen somebody do that and a cop pulled them over for that they had their whole booty and he went whoop whoop Anyway, that's all I got to say. Everything needs an upcharge. I got another customer to go to, so I'm going to get off here. Upcharge, upcharge, upcharge for every little thing because there ain't no point of working for free. That's what we're doing. I'm tired of doing it. I'm not going to do it. It's no offense towards nobody, but I don't do dog poop. Peace and chicken grease.